you guys inspire me because you're out here pursuing a dream, pursuing a passion, going after goals that not many people have the Coyones to go after. They, it takes a special type of humming bean to sit in a fork in a road and left is all rainbows, puppies, unicorns, and daisies, and right is fucking tumbleweed and just dark shadows and shit. And you guys are a couple of humming beans that look to the right and say, yeah, that looks shitty, but eh, fuck it, why not? And dive head first. So both of you guys, I want to know, what is your best advice to somebody chasing a dream, chasing a passion, pursuing a goal, whether how big, if it's in Web3 or NFTs, or whether it's just something simple, day-to-day -day life that keeps you guys going? Because whether, whether you think it or not, you are extremely motivational to so many people. And whether you just think you're a simple humming bean, you are not. You make impacts, you make waves. So what, what's that one little thing? What's your best piece of advice to that person chasing the dream and passion? Rachel, me, me or you, who, who, which, what do you want to do? You want to go first? I don't care. I can go first. I think the biggest thing, man, is like you, you can't listen to outside noise. Hmm. Like I have people in my circle that tell me this is crazy. And these are close friends. You know, that say, hey, man, you should maybe just go to work. You know, like just go back to what you were doing. This is maybe not a good idea because they see the news on NFTs. And where I live in particular, man, it's 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 like a foreign language. <laughs> they they have absolutely no idea about Web3, any of those things. So I already look like an alien, you know. So when you tell them you want to you want to own a project and you want to you want to really dive in and go down the right road, you know, they, they look at you like you're crazy. And that's OK. You know, I think I think it's up to radicals and it's up to people that are unrealistic to drive, you know, different movements. You know, it's it's totally up to us. You know, we can, can we can go to work every day and, and do those things. And that's fine. I don't judge anyone that does. But some of us have to go against the grain. And I think that's like that's one of my biggest motivators is just knowing that that's what we're doing. You know, we're, we're out here trying to build a platform for people and inspire people. And, you know, it's it's going to be hard. It's going to stretch you. It's kind of supposed to, you know. And I think that's just another sign that you're you're headed in the right direction. You know, I, I think when it's super easy and it's consistent, it's I mean, you guys know what that means. Mm -hmm. You know, you, yeah. you're, you're kind of you're supposed to be pushing for it. And I think that's and again, the, the community is incredibly inspiring. You know, it's, if, if we didn't have such a good community and such a good team and all that, man, I'd feel a lot more stretched, you know, but it's it's honestly been a lot of fun. Even the, the times we've had hiccups with the Twitter getting bopped and the the mint not getting dropped the right week and you know all the things that happen, bro. It's it's all on that road you were talking about, you know. But it's it's looking up and seeing Rachel and knowing she's not shook, and looking up and seeing Benny and seeing he's not shook, and looking and seeing the community and they're not shook, you know. So I think like like I say, man, the biggest thing is to not listen to the noise. And it sounds cliche or whatever, but I I genuinely believe that because that's that's what's worked for me. You know, like I say, there's a lot of people, even people super close to me that go, hey, I don't think that's a good idea, you know, but I can't lean on that. I have to lean on Rachel and Cap and the community and Benny and everybody I have that says, hey, man, you're an inspiration. You know, you're motivating people. You're making change, you know, so that's I think that's my advice, man. It's just don't don't stop. You know, it's it's I'm sure you can speak to this. I'm sure you put out content that never got seen. That was never and you loved it. You thought it was fantastic. And people didn't even, you know, bat an eye at it. And it's it's not letting those days stop you. Hmm. You know, it's, it's just getting through the hard days, man. Not, yeah, kind of a ramble here now. But I, I think it's no. just about not quitting, man, and then blocking out the outside noise. So no, I'll let Rachel quality. clean that up a little bit. Yeah, I'll definitely have some thoughts. But, yeah, go ahead, Rachel. I have so many. But um, shocker, shocker for, for me, I think it's all like, okay, there's two main things. People buy into people, not projects. Mm -hmm. um, these days, especially people buy into communities and people buy into other people. If you go up there and show your project, that's great. But if you don't sound genuine and authentic and really like you're whatever, like, I'm not going to buy into it. Like, this is not financial advice, but this is just what I'm seeing is like trends and like the marketplace in general. Um, and then also it's all about who, you know, not what, you know, cause also just like connections are just so important. Like it's like, you could, you could be the, 
this like if you're the smartest person in the room you're in the wrong room literally i just have so many like if you it, literally that one is really really true though if you're the if you're the smartest person in the room you like you're in the wrong room always be pushing yourself to like learn more and that goes back to like it's all about who you know like not what you know because like you could know everything but know no one and like what are you going to do with all that information you know like you've to have like a good system to share it with you know it's all about your connections it's all about if if you know all this information that's great you can shout it from the rooftops but who are you going to really tell it to you're going to tell it to your close people and who are the people that are going to listen to you you know who are the people that you're going to rely on that's your close inner circle those are the people that like will back your projects those are the people that like you know you know like it's it's awesome so i would say that is my advice like get a good really good inner circle that you like know you like trust and like just support them and yeah that was kind of all over the place but yeah my friends i got over 600 hours of podcasting under the belt and uh y'all two are naturals i got to do shit i done told multiple guests that before it is nice to not have to drag people along come on here we go we got the interview to do you guys are awesome and I want to comment on, on what you said first, Rach. Um, you know, just be authentic. Like right there. I, that's Cap. I'm just a dumbass. I just have fun. Be you. It's okay. And if if somebody can't handle that and they don't care to associate with you, number one, they don't matter. Number two, I got two words for them and they're not happy birthday. No, literally, if you're, if you're, my senior quote was, if you're too much for some people, those people are not your people. And it's Man. like, literally, like, be how much you want to be, be however little you want to be, be how much you want to be. But like, whoever judges you for being however much or not you are, like, mm. not your person, you know? Yeah. 100%. Like, you gotta 100%. get that mutual respect. 100%.